Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build a sticky call to action menu as you scroll down the page. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing you need to do is to go to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you need to download the um, template. So I'm going to come over here and add my email address, click on download. And then you need to download the files here. So now my files have been downloaded. So I just need to navigate to the actual folder. So I'm going to click here on show in finder. So here it is. I need to unzip this. So I'm going to double click. Okay. So here's my file here. It's unzipped. So I'm just going to pull this over to the side for a moment and then go on to my website. So my website here is already running Divi. So you want to make sure that you have Divi installed. So the next thing we're going to do now is to come over here and hover over Divi and click on Divi library. Next, we're going to click on import and export and then click on import because this is how we're going to add our template. So here you got two choices. You can either just click here on choose file and this will navigate through your your library, or you can just go open that folder that we downloaded the file to, which is right here, and then just drag it over here. So once you've dragged it, you can now click on import DV builder layout. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that. Excellent. So now you can see we have our DV sticky call to action menu. So what we need to do next now is to create a brand new page because now we can target this on any page on our website. I'm going to come over here, click on add new. And I'm just going to call this scroll, use Divi Builder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on choose pre-made layout. And then I'm going to uh, go to my saved layout. And this is what we just saved a moment ago. So this is our sticky call to action menu on scroll. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Okay. So you can see here that it has been installed now. So to really see this working, what I'm going to do is to save this page. So I'm going to click on expand settings. Click on save, and then I'm going to exit the visual builder. So now when I start scrolling, you're going to notice that um, content is now going to start appearing like that. There's the second one. And there's the final one. Okay. And if you go the opposite direction, same thing happens. There we go, like that. Now, let me show you how you can go in and change these colors and also do a bit of customizations to this. So I'm going to now click on Enable Visual Builder. Okay, so now that I have my builder, the first thing we're going to do is to come over here and click on Module Settings. Now, this is going to open our Call to Action Settings. So here we already have our title for our button. So this is Get Started. So you can change this to uh, whatever text you'd like. So that's the only thing that we have here in terms of uh, our button. So next, we're going to come over here to design because we may want to go in and customize this button. So I'm going to click here on button. And as you can see, our use custom styles for button is already activated. So here the size is 14 pixels. So we can increase the size if we need to. You can see there it's really getting bigger and bigger. But you know what? I'm going to leave it at 14. Uh, next, we can cha also change the color here for the button text. But you know what? I prefer to just to leave it white. But over here for the background, you can change this to whatever color you want. So as you can see, uh, as I cycle through these colors, it, my colors are now changing. Okay. All right. So I am just going to close out of here. So the same thing applies with uh, this button here and also the other one. Uh, the place to go and make your changes to that is pretty much the same. So as I scroll through this, as we start to see our content, we can now go into each and every item here and make our changes. So as you can see here, we have our content area and this is the area right here. We can go in and add or remove your text or even replace this all together. Same applies with the text. So this is where the title is. So you can see when I remove it, and put it back. This is where our main title is. Now over here, we have image and icon. So we have customized our icons here. So if you have your own images, you can use your images here. Or if you want to use an icon, you can then change that and use a specific icon that come by default with uh, Divi. So you can see here, I've just added this uh, lock. 
and we can further go in and design this so you can see you can change the colors and so on so if you want to use your own icons you, oh, you can use these images as your icons or you can just use the default icons that we have here and as you scroll further you can always go into these other ones and also make changes to that now let's say you want to add color to uh, the uh, to their section so you can just go in there and you know you can add your color like that so as you can see here uh, this one here has a totally different color so you can apply your colors the way you want just to make the design slightly different okay so now i've added a very light gray there so that is how you go in and customize this it works on existing pages or you can use this and uh, build your pages from scratch all right so i'm going to save this and exit the visual builder so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care